Uh, here's a, a bit of information on an um, armor plate we make. It actually comes in two varieties. This is the most popular one um, because it fits the most machines, build changers, and vending machines. Um, so we just encourage you to do your research before purchasing these. Um, this one is more typically of a soda vending machine and there's going to be extra metal and bosses here so it's a much more specialized shape. Um, so like I said, I you know, recommend you buy a couple of these and go put them on your machines just to make sure they're all going to fit because there's a, a, several variations of these T-handles. In any case, this is a very typical 90 degree turn handle. Um, this is often used um, in uh, Row older row vending machines, the newer Dixie Narco, Bevmax 4. Um, a lot of automatic products machines have this, this typical 90 degree turn, and this is generally just going to fit all those models. Um, here, this was popular with an older Dixie Narco machine. Um, what you kind of want to look for, just to be the most successful with this, is that this, this housing right here mounts on the outside of the machine. Um, Dixie Narco later in production started mounting them inward so this was flush to kind of help protect the uh, machines from a brute force attack. Um, and when they did that, in some cases it would be metal here. Um, but basically when you're installing this part, you'll start in the vending machine. You're going to undo both of the carriage bolts. And in our experience, like we always install these when we sell uh, dollar bill changers and vending machines just to help protect um, from a drill attack. And you know, when the bolt's done, you typically will have enough threading that this goes on. And of course, this is on the inside of the machine. Typically, the nut just goes back in place. And uh, you've kind of added this extra drill protection. Um, it should take less than one to two minutes on location.